I love it when you guys send me in your questions because it makes me think about snowboarding in different ways and I have to try and come up with solutions to real life problems within your riding. So today I'm in beautiful Sass Fay and I'm going to answer this question from Matthias. And he wants to know why he keeps bouncing out on his heel edge on steeper slopes. Now this is what we refer to as heel judder. And like Matthias described, it's essentially when you come round at the end of your heel side turn and your board bounces out. So first, let me show you exactly what it is. So that is what it looks like. And for me to demo it, I know what I had to add into my riding to make it happen, which means I know what we have to take away to stop it from happening. But before we get to that, let me first explain some of the physics of what is going on throughout the turn. So I put my trusty S-shaped diagram up here. This is what your turns should look like as you're coming down the mountain. And that red dot, that is where I'm going to be talking about where you are in the turn. So right there, you're at the top of the turn. That's the edge change. And this first kind of quarter circle, that first part of the turn, all the way down to the full line right there, when you're pointing straight down the slope, all you're essentially doing is going with gravity. There's no forces acting against you. But as soon as you turn past the full line, as soon as the board starts coming back round across the slope, that lower kind of quarter circle there, there's all these forces acting against you. Gravity wants to keep pulling, your, pulling you down. Your momentum wants to keep pulling you down. So you need to do something to fight against those forces. You need to be in a strong position and you need to have your board on its edge to grip and carry you out across the snow at the bottom part of the turn right there where the forces are the greatest. Now, you might be thinking, sure, Malcolm, I already know that. And I am putting the board on a high edge angle, yet it's still bouncing out and I'm getting that judder. Well, the problem of heel judder isn't caused by not enough edge angle, it's caused by too much edge angle too early in the turn. So let me explain. When I was doing my demo turn earlier, when I had to show that heel judder, what I did right at the top part of the turn, right after that edge change, I put the board on a high angle. And you remember I said that that top part of the turn, down to the full line, you're just going with gravity. So by the time that I was in the full line, I was on this mega high edge angle, which meant that as the forces kept increasing through my board, through the lower part of the turn, down to the bottom there, I was already maxed out and I couldn't increase that to absorb those forces. So it's actually all about being more progressive with your movements and progressively tilting on that edge angle throughout the turn. So heel judder is usually something that affects more advanced riders, riders who have learned how to carve and enjoy that sensation of putting the board on a high edge angle and having it whip them round the turn. Now this is something you can definitely do on more mellow slopes. It's really fun and you get away with it because the build up of pressure is never that great. But when you take those movements and try to do that on a steeper slope, your board just can't handle it. So what we need to do, like I just said, is be more progressive with adding in that edge angle. So we're gonna start off by adding more skid. That is when you keep the board flatter and the board is gonna skid out. Now, skidding and judder, although they might look quite similar in what's happening in that you're losing your line and falling down the slope, they're actually caused by the complete opposite thing. So we know heel judder is caused by too much edge angle and skidding is caused by not enough edge angle. So we're gonna start in the skid and each turn progressively, as you get through the turn, as you get towards the full line, add in a little bit more edge angle. Do this by just laterally leaning your body into the slope and sinking down low. If you're still getting skid, you know to add in a little bit more edge angle. And if you're getting judder, you know you've added in too much. And that way you should be able to find the perfect sweet spot where you maintain grip 
throughout the turn and you don't pop out of your line. So let's assume you're doing all of the above correctly, but you're still getting heel judder. Well, there's three more things that might be causing that problem. Firstly, it could simply be how you're aligned at the end of your turn. So looking back at the turn up there, at the end part, we want to carry our momentum across the slope and not encourage it to go down the slope. And a lot of people on their heel side, they finish their turn and they're looking straight down the mountain like this. And that really makes their momentum want to carry straight down the hill. Simply by turning your head and looking out across the slope, across the end of your turn, that will better align your body to help you carry your momentum across the slope, therefore putting less pressure on your board, less forces for you to fight against. Secondly, you might just be making turns that are too big for the kind of terrain you're on. So let's pull that up and make it a little bit bigger. Now, although I said this top part of the turn, there's no forces acting against you, simply by having a bigger turn, you're spending more time with the board pointing down the slope, therefore more time picking up speed, which means when you then pass the full line, just there, there's gonna be more of a pressure buildup underfoot that you have to deal with. So you might have to work on a few techniques to help you bring those turns in and make them a little smaller. And I'll post a few videos down in the description below that's gonna help you out with all that stuff. And thirdly, check your equipment. Big forward lean angles on your bindings can be great for doing aggressive angles when you're carving, but it can actually hamper your progress when you're trying to ride the steeps because it makes it difficult to progressively add on that edge angle. So dial it back and you might find you solve all your problems instantly. Thanks Mateus, great question, and I hope this video has helped you out. And hopefully it also gives you guys a better understanding of what is going on throughout our turns. And if you've got a question, make sure you pop it down in the comments below, and who knows, maybe I'll be making it my next video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.